need to be curtailed also. Thank you. My Lords, it's a pleasure to follow the Noble, Lord Bar Noble Lady Baroness Sheehan, um, who's highlighted the gen particular agenda aspects of this debate, and to follow the Noble Lord, Lord Sharkey, who has been a consistent champion on this issue in your Lordship's house. Um, I just wish to make a couple of additional comments um, to what's already been said while offering support um, for this amendment to push the government to get actual action. Uh, it was Green Party conference at the weekend, and one of the things I found myself discussing again and again was how the public is increasingly coming to realise that it once thought that when the government announced something, that meant it would happen. But the public is now becoming increasingly aware of the legislative process and even of the role of your Lordship's House because it is taking so long between government announcements and something actually happening. And that is true of the, um, the announcement of a bottle deposit scheme for England. Um, but the case of um, the promise of uh, provision of Sharia compliant um, finance, particularly for student loans, and the delivery is an even longer stretch than that one. I think the point um, is worth making is that um, the last figures I've seen is that 9% of higher education students uh, in the UK were Muslim. And I think the point about uh, loans being extended for lifelong learning being extended into further education means that it's very likely that the figure, the percentage of students affected by this, by the lack of Sharia compliant loans, is only likely to increase. And it's not like the government hasn't been uh, reminded of this again and again. I just want to note again that it was in the Skills and Post-16 Education Bill uh, in July 2021 that we were debating this and we were promised, yes, yes, it's going to happen, it's going to come, it's going to come. Yet we've yet again just had a report from the government in which we have not seen progress. And this really is simply not good enough. And I think we often debate in your Lordship's House, you know, how do we get trust in government? How do we deliver trust in the system? Well, delivering on your promises in a reasonable and timely manner on something that is really should not be that difficult. This is a real case study in terms of Sharia compliant uh, loans. I rise really to support uh, the noble peer, Lord.